We're going to take our form FRM customers that we created earlier and look at how we can add some color. Adjust the labels, because at the moment the labels are effectively the same as the field name. And in reality, the whole point of this form is to make it more user friendly and easier for humans to interact with the data. Well, that's going to be a little easier if the labels are easy to read for a human being. And we're going to look at how we can add fields that we don't already have on the form. So the first thing is to look at these labels. Well, we can do that in either layout view or design view, whichever works easiest for yourself. A label, we're just adjusting what it says. I'm actually going to do that in layout view. The box here that contains the label is simply a text box that you can click into and effectively amend the label. So I can put spaces in to make it a little easier for humans to read. Address type. Address. Don't need to put line one on there. Call that line two. City total purchase YTD. Let's put some spaces in to make that easier for a human. Date first purchase. Well, again, that needs some spaces. I'm going to put date of first purchase as well. Marital status. Space in there. And total children. Total number of children. So now the labels make more sense to a human. Let's go back to form view so that we cannot edit them. And as we scroll through the records, you see the labels stay the same. Now, if you want to add some color, let's go and do this in design view for a difference. I want to change the labels just so that they're slightly different color. First thing I need to do is select the labels. So I do that by selecting the first one and then shift click each of the subsequent labels. Make sure I've got them all. Now there is an alternative way of selecting all these labels, and that is if I click away, if I click in the top margin here, it will select every object that falls below where I click. So I click once here. You can see it picks up everything, but also the label in the header. So let's just do a shift click on the label to effectively deselect it from my options. So that was slightly quicker. Having made my selection, I can then go back to the home ribbon come across the text formatting and change the text color here, either sticking with one of the theme colors or moving into any of the other colors. Well, let's go with a nice bluey color there for the labels. I can also change the background color if I wish. Now that's the background color of each of the boxes. I'm actually going to leave that alone and perhaps change the labels to bold as well. Now to see what that looks like actually as a form for a human, instead of all the borders and dots, I simply go back to form view and I can see that then that looks so much more presentable to a human. If perhaps I wanted the last name to stand out a little more, I would make the last name by selecting home color and we'll change the color of that one to a sort of orangey color. Well, that way, when I go back to form view, it stands out a little more when people are looking through the form. So I can change the color of the labels, but I can also change the color of the data if I wish. Going back in form, design or layout view. I then select the fields I wish to affect. So I can do that at the top here in the margin again. Notice you've got to be careful where you click because it's everything below the black line or click and drag and everything that is encompassed then will get picked up. Still miss the marital status. Let's go a bit further over. Got it now. So you don't need to go outside the field. You just need to effectively cross the field and it will get selected. And let's make all the data values. We'll make those a sort of lighter blue. Too light, I feel. And that's quite good. But not bold. So that way we can control the color of the text or the background of any labels on the form. In fact, you can see here the background color for that area. Let's go back into design, select that area, which is the form header. Go to format on the design tools and we can actually affect the background color here. So I can change the background color. Let's go for a light green of the form header. I might want to then change the header for the form. At the moment, it's called FRM customers, which is the name of the object. Let's drop the FRM. That's not going to mean anything to a human and resize our label because we can also adjust the alignment. 
I've made that centre line, but within its own little box. If I make the box wider, it moves further across. Let's set the background colour for that box to a light grey and the font colour to green. I just need to adjust the height a little because I don't need the whole height and I can move it. So it's just a, an object on my form, just as that's a label object and that's a data object. These are called controls because they pull the data in. And this is simply a label. When I go back to form view, you can see how that then looks. So you are pretty much in control of colors, changing the color for labels, changing the color for your data, changing the color for any labels you might put in the header as we have here, and even the color of the background of each section. It's a separate section for the form header, form footer, and the detail, all of which could be a different color. Obviously, you've got to have a little eye on some kind of style. Perhaps you want to be corporate, perhaps you want to be bright, perhaps you want to be staid. So you need to choose the right colors to get the right image across for your forms.